Hello everyone and what is going on? Hyperion Blue GT here. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 Part 61. Moving forward in France after clear from Outsage Village and Deep Forest Raceway located in Switzerland. For this part of the continuation and circuit experience when I'm taking the main road to the big one to be at the Nürburgring notion of Ilpe. Stopping at Circuit de Sani Clorex and 24 Humans Stopping at Circuit de Sunny Clorix and 24 Heroes Dumont's racetrack is about to go faster and using with Group 1 category this time. So let's go on over and take on in Layout C to the full course by using the Bugatti Vision GT Group 1 category we'll be taking with 5 sectors including a 1 lap attack. All kinds of different sectors is now going to be putting up to have some more straightaways and some few corners with some elevation. So I have to be ready up and go and a 15 second overlay will have to be going reminder if you're going to have to be click the subscribe button then leave a like and comment at the session down below and check out the links on the description if you want to see more and be sure to click the bell for notification on upcoming content videos in the later future. Now let's get ready to go and continue on in circuit experience. Alright, so looks like that will have to take main part of the objective will be going counting by 5 sectors in each part of the separate layouts when you're on the C course in Circuit Designing Clorix. Here's 20.8 seconds in Sector 1 before moving on in Sector 2 which is 27.5 seconds. Sector 3, 38.5 seconds before moving forward to be entered at the bridge to be at 21.2 seconds as for the final sector will be at 46.1 seconds. After 5 sector clear, this is going to have to take under 3 minutes to go in 2 minutes, 55.8 seconds. So let's go enter and take on sector 1. So you see, this is going to get much more fine piece of cake to have the first turn will be going straight onto the left and proceed onto the 90 degree angle will be at the right. So let's just going to have to give it a go. So I just heard about the next update will be coming up in March 29th, which is going to be this week. So I hope I could probably have to went down to do some video segment because there will be some next five vehicles will be coming up soon. Boy, looks like this is going to get much more interesting to see there will be another race car or other kinds of vehicles such as Porsche will be added to the game. Easy as that and mostly to have some new ones will be coming in to be part of it as well. So there you go. First sector clear, piece of cake by 20 seconds for the decimal of 0 0.481. That's one sector down, four to go, and save it for the lap attack, we'll have to go proceed. So you see, that's how the first and second turn is absolutely to go for having a basic example to go quick left and going break to be at the right turn before going proceed onto the finish line as sector 2 will be going entered will be proceed into the next part of the challenge. 27.5 seconds will have to go entered to have the straightaway before stopping at turn 3, 4, 5 and then you'll be stopping at turn number 6 will be saved at the finish line before moving on in turn 7. So whenever you might need to have the detail, be sure to check it out on the Gran Turismo Wiki of Phantom to explain more details about the track on the C course layout. So here I go, focusing on the goal, using the Bugatti Vision GT Group 1 is absolutely to have a concept car before the Chiron came out. Okay, just like this, stop at turn 3, keep pulling forward, now gonna have to go for turn 4, steady as it goes because it's an all wheel drive and faster to be fitted for the Group 1 regulation. Okay, looks like that might have a bronze position that will be my prediction guess. Gonna have to go again for attempt number two because it'll have to be challenging and much more hard work just like what you just did in the Manufacturers Cup and Nations Cup. Time for attempt number two. Gonna have to stay on in to be at turn three. Going straight, go hard and forward to be at turn number four to be coming in. Ghost car coming in quickly, so pretty clever and pretty obvious. 
Now I'm gonna have to pull the brake, slam very hard. I know it is gonna get a little bit much more tough to handle. Gonna have to start over and get ready to have the main fo focusing to be pushing on turn four. Okay, let's go for it. And just like that, watch out for the barriers. Don't get off the track too easily. Keep it steady and stay focused on the ghost car. Alright, so looks like still in the bronze. Gonna have to go harder, you guys. It's quite very obvious after I just tried to take many several attempts when you're in sector 2 onto the C course layout. So I had to make sure to go hard and take turn number 3 to go hard right, pull the throttle, and go the acceleration to be at turn number 4. Just like this, and then going proper all wheel drive balance before go early break to be at turn number 6. Okay, there we go. Looks like turn 6 is pretty tricky. But in the meantime, because going hard for the goal to have a main objective by around 27 seconds for the decimal to be currently that I just took in 0.407 seconds. That's the ticket. Now, let's go moving on in sector 3 by skipping a replay. Man, no matter how turn 6 is quite very challenging to go hard for the gold. So you gotta be sure to have turn number 4 to be on the deacceleration zone without pulling the brake too much. Otherwise, that will be a disadvantage before gonna have to be stopping in to be on the third sector. So let's go and move on in to have sector number 3. For turn 7, Break just before the 100M market board, it is important to change the direction of the car quickly at the entry since the corner exit is on a descent, making it easy to overrun. For turn 8, trace an out and out line, clearing turn 9 on the inside, you will approach, approach turn 10, ascend by the gates of Seni Clorix, start breaking from where you enter the straight, stay on the apex slightly longer, then accelerate towards the curbstone of the outer side. So, I guess turn 11 to 13 is going to be quite very technical to be as a similar to be in Le Mans. Gonna have to find out, and just gonna have to be much more proud racer to be mastered onto the C course layout. So here comes the Hunter Market Board, just to be passed by, let the ghost car to go for the example. Just gonna have to go hard left, deaccelerate, less braking, and here comes to have a main position to be coming over to be on the sign of Sunny Clorix. Here comes turn 11 to 13. Keep it careful, hold it steady, and pull the throttle. Not too good, but being decent to be ended up in bronze. So yeah, you guys might gonna have to work harder whenever you're gonna have to go advanced difficulty to be mastered in the group 1 car. Only in GT7 as part of the circuit experience, but the basic turns out to become more intense and challenging to be more expert. Just barely slam in my own brakes, just gonna have to keep a good focusing to go hard onto the ghost car. Pretty tough to handle, but Always gonna have to be on the lookout on the barrier next time because that will have a loosened line to go advantage and disadvantage to be a self. Here comes the next attempt. Just gonna have to go on in. Pull the throttle. Now gonna have to go decent and carefully. Okay, here comes the left turn, going back on turn 11 and 13, just like that, curbstone is the main option. It's 
So there. That's how you should probably have to work hard and achieve the goal by exactly in Sector 3, 38.390 seconds. That, that should be quite good enough before enter the bridge on Sector 4. Before we're going to have to go earlier on to Sector 5 and 6. It's going to be the very tough one to be mastered onto the steep elevation. Replay saved. Number, number 3 in the friends ranking. So here is Sector 4. Once you cross the bridge, you will come upon Turn 14. Start breaking using the 150M marker board as your cue. Then stay on the apex slightly longer than usual. Be careful not to be deflected by the bump at the corner exit and throw into the wall. The high speed descending turn 15 is an important corner that connects to the straight that follows. Lightly apply trail braking and get on the inside gradually. Then keep it to the line at the partial throttle Use any barrier on the far end and the orange wall as your cues to start opening the throttle. Downhill slope by the corner, so turn 14 and 15 to be noted. So let's go and start applying at the brake. Okay, here it comes. Watch out for the barrier. Ghost car will go through. Now keep it up, and don't get too much damaged. Cleared, but ended up in silver. 21.563 seconds. Gonna have to try this again for attempt number 2 to see how the goal position has to go hard and be well achievable. But besides the 150 marker board, the break zone is actually to have the main queue and gonna have to go through onto the main purpose of the ejected. So just like that, going down and proceed without pulling the brake. All cleared and perfect to be on the gold. 21.48 seconds. Good job. And that makes sector 4 is now being checked and noted before moving on in sector number 5 and 6. For turn 16, because just gonna have to go proceed onto the straightaway before enter to be at the 16th turn is gonna be the 150 marker board. The corner exit is wide, so make a shallow pass on the apex and come out in the guardrail line in order to gain exit speed. Turn 17 and 18 are consecutive. Clear in the smooth line near the end of the curved stone. Straighten out, apply light brakes, and enter turn 19. Use the entire width of the road and go through in a straight line. Turn 21 is a blind corner. Brake lightly using the end of the barrier on the straight side as your cue to be on the right direction. Stay shallow and long on the inside, and as you exit, clear turn 22 with smooth st steering control. Turn 23 changes from the ascent to a descent, so be wary of major low shift. Break in a straight line using the 150 marker board as your cue. Open the throttle from just before the apex and accelerate towards the outer curbstone. For the angle final corner, break using the beginning of the right side curbstone as your mark. Make sure to get on the apex and make your exit. This should be a very tough one. Going harder and make the straightaway for having the final sector would be combined in number 5 and 6. Here comes turn number 14 is now going to have to go clear to be moving on in turn 16. Come on, just going to have to work hard and stay on the main focus. Ghost car is going a little bit pushing through. Pretty much more faster, but very capable at least. Okay, there we go. Looks like final corner is going to be on the left position. Step on in, go for the apex, make a good final stretch. Not too good, but ends up in the bronze. 
just gonna have to try this again for a second attempt to be mastered on five and six of the sector. So pretty tough and very difficult to be mastered with some series of tight corners and consecutive, including the blind corner as well. So turn 16 is check and clear. Just hang in there. Gonna have to find the inside of the curb stone and do a light turn. All right, very good. Ghost car is going upper hand. That was a close call. Now go lightly. Bummer, so very close. So very close to have the gold record to be added by 0.1 seconds. 0.101 seconds. I almost had that chance, you guys. So very close and needs to be updated to go reached up on the goal. Come on, just gonna have to step it up and gonna have to make a perfect line to be well achievable. Gonna have to keep a good check on the radar. Master the tight turns and consecutive will be going entered by the apexes and curb stones. Just like that. And looks like the main ghost car is about to make one single push. Absolutely check and correct. There we go. Looks like going hard for the gold in 45.839 seconds. That's better. But reminder, just gonna have to go faster when using a group 1 class in circuit experience is becoming the advanced opportunity. So good job for having a good clear on sector 5 and 6 to be saved as a replay. So here I go and this is gonna be a very one lap attack to go hard difficulty in 2 minutes 55.8 seconds. This time, it's going to go harder, quicker, and doing some tight turns on every elevation and some tight corners. One lap and go under three minutes is going to be a very tough one. Turn one clear, going enter to be at turn number two. Ghost car is still coming in to be on the strong push. Gonna have to keep it up and take the first straightaway before coming in on to turn number 3 by sector 2. Pull the brake. Steady as it goes. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna have to go deaccelerate on turn 4. Going back in the lead. Here comes turn 6 after turn 5. Gonna have to keep my balance under control when using the Bugatti Chiron Vision GT Group 1. Come on, just gonna have to keep a good touch on the curbstone apex. Almost to be slowed down at the sand. Stop at turn 10. Just like that, and going down to be at turn 11 through turn 13. Okay, very good, very splendid, and much more going upper hand to be at the bridge before I stop at turn 14 in sector 4. Very much more splendid, here comes turn 15 to be going down the hill, right turn up ahead, no brake zone allowed before entered at the third straightaway. Now entering Sector 5 before proceed on to Sector 6. It all comes down to this. Just going to keep pushing on the throttle and coming in on turn 16. There we go. 
but simple as clever to catch up to the ghost car. But I still got this, just to go cleared and go hard for the gold. Sector 6, here I come. This is it. It's gonna be all or nothing. So far, so very close. Now I'm gonna have to take the final corner to be on the way. Sprint to the finish. Clock's ticking. And looks like I just made it on time. Whew. Very good job and magnificent to have a very good excellent goal time in 2 minutes 54.096 seconds. From the GT by Citroën Group 3 to a Bugatti Vision GT Group 1. Very challenging and going advance. Man, I cannot believe it. This is going to get much more hard difficult for doing all the attempts. So, the replay is now being yet and saved. And good job, you guys. Master in the C course layout and Circuit Design T Clorix is going to be an absolutely to go advance and going faster when using a Group 1 category. But after all, because the differences between a Vision GT and the Chiron in the 2016 model looks so very absolutely to have a perfection race car into a popular world going hopper car. Let's exit out. 60,000 GT credits and 43.5 miles is now being earned and achieved to have a good earning. 3 star roulette ticket is now complete in the driving marathon and bronze and all acquired to be earned in 200,000 and gold to be at 1 million credits. With all the top times to go faster and master every part of the corner with the element of deacceleration when you're on the C course in Circuit Descent Eclorix is going to be a very tough one. Especially on the circuit experience and that makes a very good total amount of earnings is now going to be stopped at 21,279,509 GT credits. Alright, looks like it's all checked and let's go to be at 24 Heroes Dumont's racetrack is about to go for having a best celebration in 100 years in the making. Speaking of which, today is going to be a very good celebration of Le Mans is about to have a 100th anniversary. For this part of the circuit experience, 5 sectors and a 1 lap attack will be using with a Peugeot 908 HDI FAP Team Peugeot Total 2010 will be featured in GT7 after the Porsche 919 Hybrid from GT Sport to be on the same track. So I hope I can probably have to be ready up and be sure to have all kinds of different specific landmarks to be counting out by 10 sectors and six sectors all together for this part of the circuit experience. But I can't wait to see how it turns out because a 2010 LMP race car has much to be proud exactly to have a proud represent to be on the country of France. This is going to get much more challenging and we're about to go advance and beyond. By number one in the sector is going to be set up to be on the home straight and Tittery Rouge to be at 38.6 seconds before moving on in the straightaways by having two chicanes in sector two. 51.6 seconds before moving on at the Molsane at sector three at 18.2 seconds. After clear the Molsane, moving on in to be at the Indianapolis corner in sector four by 29 seconds. And here's the only two part of the example is the Porsche curb and the four chicane is going to be at sector 5 in 37.8 seconds. After five, sec after five sector clear, moving on in to be in the one lap attack in 3 minutes, 18.7 seconds to go hard and faster on the gold. Now let's get started and starting out to be on the home straight before go going enter to be at Terry Rouge. Let's do this and be ready up to have a very good proud Le Mans circuit experience to be dropping in and having one group one car to be riding on in. So let's do this and coming in to be on the first turn before at the Dunlop chicane. Do that proper braking inside the apex going in going out and have that proper balance to be on a good grip of the traction. Okay, so far so good. 
just going to keep holding down the line and stay on the main edge of the speed. Here comes the Terry Rouge. The accelerate going entered and make your way to be entered at the long straightaway. Okay, that's the first attempt cleared on the silver. 39.168 seconds. Gonna have to work hard and be as a true group 1 racer to be in the LMP category. Just like LMP1 category since the 2010s era before hypercars is stepping in in the 2020s. So here I go. Gonna have to master the first sector on this track. Gonna have to do this. Pull the brake. Simple chance and go for the Dunlop chicane. Watch both eyes on the sun because it'll have to go down the hill and go and proceed. Pretty clever and just gonna have to go simple as an ordinary racer. Right turn coming in. Step it up and going well cleared to be much more usual. Silver is going cleared on attempt number two. Let's go for attempt number three. Let's see how it turns out to go pushing up the limits. Come on, just going to stay focused on the ghost car. Just like that, enter the Dunlop chicane on the inside of the apexes without going up. That should do it much more well. Going cleared and go early braking as it goes. Okay, gonna have to be much more careful. The acceleration is a tough option. All right, just like that. Once you made it clear on sector one to have number one and two, moving on in to be at the straightaway for having two chicanes. Here's my record, 38.460 seconds. That should be much more challenging and more competent to be racing part in Le Mans. So after that, because it'll have to get more challenging to do some inside corner to be on the main elevation to find your line. So first replay is checked and cleared. Moving on in Sector 2. As for Sector 2, here you might need to have two chicane will have to go by the main direction to be on the right side and then going to have to go proceed on to the second part of the straightaway before stopping at chicane number two which is actually to have the left corner turn is going to go proceed to be entered at the finish line. 51.6 seconds you guys. Be remember master two chicane is going to be a very good piece of cake. So let's give it a go and gonna have to go straight and keep a good pressure on the high speed acceleration in gear number six. Okay, looks like there goes the first chicane. Keep it steady and keep a good proper balance without getting too much over rev. Back on track. Save it for the first part of the straightaway until you'll be moving on in chicane number two. Okay, here it comes. Gonna have to do the same thing again. This time, it'll have to take left direction to be entered onto the inside of the curbstone of the apex. Ghost car is now going pushing forward. And that's how you should probably have to master two chicanes between the right first and the left second. Very good job to have the gold medal in 50.704 seconds. Now let's go and have this for instance for taking a few attempt example. So the first part of the right side direction chicane is known as the Lee Cordieri chicane. Start breaking using the blue 100M marker sign as your cue is going to have to be entered to be on the left corner which is chicane number 2. Somehow, because it might be quite obvious to have the right side chicane, which is actually to be known as the Daytona. But of course, because two chicanes in Le Mans is the legendary fine advantage for every part of the prototype race car and GT race cars in each part of the category types, 
and every time in the 24 hours of Le Mans by exactly around in June or any kinds of months that every racer would be more likely to be participate. So, once being cleared on Sector 2 for having two chicane, we're heading on in to be at the Mosane exit on Sector 3. Replay saved. Now, let's do it and master the Mosane corner to be at the 90 degree turn. This will be a very tough one to go breaking hard. Just gonna have to go proper strategy to have some helpful tips. So, gonna have to go enter and go proceed to have the brake zone. Be very careful, try not to get off the track. Take that proper line precision and then you're all good. Pretty clever and much more piece of cake just like having two chicane from the last sector. Goal cleared in 17.735 seconds. Now, it'll have to be much more obvious to see which kinds of corners that you'll be more likely to be recognized. Two chicanes and the most seen at the 90 degree angle to be stopping in when taking too much speed to be stopped at the gear number 6. Only in GT and LMP1 categories to be racing onto the same track. So number 2 in the France ranking is clear in Sector 3. Here comes Sector 4 to be at the Indianapolis corner before proceed onto the Arnage exit. Almost there to be at the Porsche corner to be coming up in Sector 5. Just gonna to be sure to drive carefully before coming forward to be at the Indianapolis corner to be approaching. So I'll have to take the first attempt. Here it is. Just like that and just gonna have to keep a good follow through onto the ghost car. Not pretty clever, but here comes the Arnage. Close call. Pretty much more clever to be using in the manual transmission. So there you go. 28.751 seconds on a goal. Not so bad and very good to be achieved average to go hard for the goal. So looks like everything is all checked to be cleared on sector 6 through 8 before coming up forward to be on sector 9 and 10. Just going to be patient until the loading stream has now appeared. So, as per Sector 5 to be highlighted to be labeled in Sector 9 and 10, the Porsche curb and the Porsche cane is absolutely to be served as an ordinary advantage, but very challenging, far difficult, and much more speed to be increased to have a goal ejected in 37.8 seconds. So, It'll have to take one way ticket to get back onto the home straight before taking a one lap attack, so you might gonna have to be sure to be very careful. Don't get too much speed, too much more grip, and too much braking. That's how all you might need to do is gonna have to master a prototype race car in the same group one category since the Porsche 19 919 hybrid. Let's get it on and enter onto the Porsche curve. So you see, this is where the deacceleration zone comes in before we're gonna have to slope down to be entered to have the Porsche curve. So in the meantime, once you'll be able to be reached up and arrive to be at the Porsche Cane, now's your time to go at it and prove your word to be faster before moving on in the next lap after cleared to be on the circuit experience. So here's the Porsche Cane, gonna have to take one turn, and the second one, Just like that, and brings back from International A License to be mastered in the Porsche Curve. That's how I just ended up in bronze in 39.991 seconds. All you might need to do is gonna have to work your effort before entered at the Porsche Curve. Now let's try this again on attempt number two. See? It's not so bad, just gonna have to push hard and go on the aggressive. But too much aggressive, all you're gonna have to take much more careful to have some proper position to be entered onto the side of the apex. 
So there we go. Coming back again on the four chicane. Slow in. Be patient. And wait for the clear exit moment. Had to work hard and gonna have to step up to be mastered in the second exit on the Porsche Cane. All I can do is gonna have to master onto the Porsche curve to go Group 1 Extreme. Freestyle driving is a matter of choice of an option. Okay, there we go. Going quick left. Ghost car will go first, and I'll have to do second. Okay, here comes early break on chicane number two in the four chicane. There we go. Finally. Good thing I just mastered sector nine and ten to be part of the fifth sector. 37.472 seconds in the gold level. Alright, here I come. One lap attack. This is going to be a very tough one, just like Circuit de Scienti Chloric C. Mm. <clears throat> ah, pardon me. I just had some simple sip of water. Now, going to have to save a replay. Position number three in the friends ranking. Exit out. And here I come for only three minutes, 18.7 seconds to master 10 sectors all at once. Let's give everything all I got. Work hard and find a perfect line to go Group 1 Racing to be well proud to have one French racing car category. It's gonna be all or nothing, so I hope I can probably have to reach it up to be on the goal objected. There we go. Dunlop chicane is clear. Ghost car will have to go first by having a courtesy example. Here comes the next turn, very wide open to aim towards the inside before going the acceleration at the next turn. Okay, that's 30 seconds to be entered on sector 2 clear. Moving on in at sector 3. Keep going straight, and here comes the first chicane at the right turn direction, folks. I had to be ready. Sixth gear by the matter. That's one chicane cleared. Traction stay on the balance. That's sector three clear. Going in on sector four. This has to work perfectly after taking five sectors to go with different perspective and attempts. Okay, there we go. Second chicane on the left. Slow in, fast out. Very good, and check to be moving on in sector number five. Most in coming in, folks. I had to be ready, and gonna have to go perfectly to be on the brake zone. Here comes the apex. Very good, cleared, and stay kick up for having an over rev speed traction. Okay, moving on in the Indianapolis corner before proceed on to the Arnage exit. But after that, Porsche curve and Porsche chicane is going to be a very tough one. Okay, steady as it goes. Keep a good push of the acceleration. Moving on in at the Arnage. Exit out. Press on in to have a good straightaway to be entered by the entrance of the Porsche curb. This has to work very perfectly to go for having a deacceleration proper. Okay, looks like doing well. Just gonna have to keep a good steady pace. Don't get too overwhelmed.
18 seconds left. I have to hurry up. Four chicane is going to be the last call. Come on. Yes, I did it. I just the layout. Three minutes, 18.505 seconds. Wow. I have truly owned the course for having a gold record achievement, you guys. Very awesome and very good to be as a Le Mans racer. I cannot believe it. I just pulled that trick up for having a dink bowl strategy. Dinking strategy just absolutely to go off the charts. Now, I hope I could probably have to skip a replay because 2010 Pesciot 908 is absolutely giving a best job well done to be well proud and represent the country of France. So there you go. Looks like gonna have to go earning up to have some double combo because bronze and gold and exit out to go proceed for having 60,000 GT credits in 44.6 miles in the driving marathon. Alright, there we go. Another 1.2 million credits is going to be quite good all I need. We're getting closer at the big one you guys. Next up, Belgium and Germany will be coming up in part 62 in the next video after having good clear for having two courses in France. 24 Heroes de Mans Racetrack and Circuit de Scienti Clorex. But I hope I could probably have to get closer to be stopped at part 63 when I'm at Nürburgring to be at the North Chanel Bay. The big one is getting closer you guys. I can feel it. I am so very closer to have Circuit de Spa Frankenchamps and Nürburgring to be on the Grand Prix track layout will be coming up soon. I hope I could probably have to be ready because I have to keep an eye out on the date before March 29 which is going to be the next update in GT7. But I can't wait to see how it turns out because 5 cars including one of them is going to be as a DTM racing car category which is going to be known as a group 2 category. Which is an Audi RS5 Turbo. Thank you for watching on my video in Gran Turismo 7 folks. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment and click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos if you like to see. And don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms like DeepNet Art, Instagram, GT Planet, Twitter, and more to see for my own image artwork like UDRS Libraries, Total Drama Fan Art with Card Libraries, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.